Rise and shine everyone. Hello, I'm Sarah. What are you having for breakfast today? Well, this morning, I had cereal for breakfast. And now, I wondering, how is the life cycle of the cereal? In this video, I will talk about the life cycle of cereal, the impact along the life cycle of cereal, and the recommendation. For those of you who doesn't know what a cereal is, cereal is a food made from grain that is eaten for breakfast. Example of grain are corn, rice, and wheat. Most of the cereal are recommended to be served with milk. Here are some facts about cereal. Do you know that an American consuming an average of 150 bowls of cereal per year? It's calculated that almost 50% of Americans eat cereal as breakfast. Cereal is an easy source of food and also existed a long time ago since 1863. No wonder it's a popular meal. Cereal also contain vitamin and mineral. Vitamin they are contained in cereal are B2, B3, B5, B6, calcium and ferrum. From all the vitamin and mineral mentioned before, cereal can give you healthy blood, help nervous system work properly, help in releasing energy, reduce tiredness and increase cognitive development. Energy and cognitive development is important to keep us energetic and focus in daily activities. Other benefits are keep the immune system work properly, give you healthy skin, encourage normal cell division, and healthy bone and teeth. Now, let's we move on to life cycle assessment of cereal. In production of cereal, first, we need to consider its ingredient. Ingredient is included in one of the raw material. Most of ingredients for cereal are from agriculture product. Agriculture production of cereal are grain and other ingredients involving soil, water, seed, pesticide, fertilizer, and energy. The top 5 ingredients of cereal are corn, cocoa, wheat, sugar, and rice. Most of the ingredients not produced in one place and imported from other parts of the world such as corn from Argentina, rice from Spain, Thailand and Egypt. Wheat and eat derivative are sourced from the UK, Spain and USA. Cocoa produced in Ivory of Coast. And sugar is imported from France, Germany and Africa. Use of energy also involved in this production. Electrical energy involved in both agriculture and manufacture. Water also used for both watering the crop and also manufacture. The truck icon indicates the transportation used in transporting the ingredient, packaging material, product and waste along the life cycle. The production of packaging material and packaging involve water detergent, energy and packaging. Next phase of life cycle is consumption. This is where us as consumer pick our favorite cereal from the store rack. Milk is also included in the life cycle of cereal because milk is in list for serving suggestion for most cereal. Last phase of life cycle is waste management. Waste management is involved in different life cycle stage. As cereal is popular among customer, it is estimated that cereal contribute to 40% to 50% of world food wastage. The food waste include the agriculture and manufacture waste. Some consumer made a good choice by recycle the cereal box. Along all the process mentioned before, there is some environmental effect involved. So now, let's learn more about the environmental impact. First, we will talk about the impact of cereal production on biodiversity. Every year, there are 1.5 species lost in vascular plant. For animal, the highest is 0.014 loss in amphibian species. 
main cause for species loss is use of land, mainly in cocoa production. Cocoa plants have very low yield and hence high land requirement. Cocoa plantations situated at various diversity that are under threat. Now, it's about the impact of cereal production to ecosystem service. Loss of 0.53 metric tons biomass production, which equivalent to 1.4 kg for every kg of cereal produce. About 20 kg of soil are lost per every 1 kg of cereal production due to erosion, total up to 7.8 metric tons per year. The next impact on ecosystem service is groundwater regeneration and water infiltration reduce. Main contributor for all this impact is also from production of cocoa, followed by rice, then wheat, and lastly sugar. Lastly, we will talk about the impact from consumption of cereal. Most of the cereal are recommended on the packaging of the product to be served with 125 ml of milk plus 30 g of cereal. Therefore, it's considered as additional impact to environment. Adding milk to cereal increased the biodiversity impact by 7% of reptile to 28% of birds. There are some recommendations that are listed to cater the environmental impact. First is by focusing on ecosystem in agriculture basis. Every food industry must work in hand with agriculture production to implement the method in reducing impact of agriculture to ecosystem. Next, the further development is needed to address biodiversity and development. We are already at the end of the video. In conclusion, the life cycle assessment is presented in cradle to grave, which involves from raw material to the waste disposal. Life cycle of cereal give impact production on biodiversity, ecosystem and consumption. To watch more video like this, don't forget to subscribe and click like and share the video to others. Let's learn together. That's all for me. Thank you.